You owe me a lot of script, Faith. I expect you to deliver on your promise. of your choice, your possibilities are infinite. The key to success lies in unlocking your inner potential through hard work and relentless dedication. As an employee, you are expected to perform at the top of your abilities. Last day, huh? And constantly strive to I thought we'd keep you here forever, Leech. Work is rewarded. Maybe you'd like another three months. Laziness punishes. <laughs> It would be so easy. Personal freedom comes at a Come price. Come on, let's go. We got a full day ahead. Our great society expects every employee to contribute to the corporation of their choice. Has served a 12 month since to which time of rash for several incidents of insubordination. Deemed ready for conditional release. Now, if it was up to me. <clears throat> policy exists to keep you safe. Be wary of policy breakers in our midst. Upon release, you must seek immediate employment and will be monitored through your grid link. If you do not find employment within 14 days, you'll be relocated to a Greyland facility. Do you understand the these conditions? This Just get me out of here. Work hard and you will be rewarded. Dressing rooms to the left, Leech. Anyone can rise to high caste level and enjoy riches well deserved. Dogen sends his best. Enjoy your freedom. All the major corporations operate here, so there should be ample opportunity for you to find new employment and lead a happy and productive life. You have been given a rare second chance. Make sure not to slaughter. Hey, this is Dave from Hyper Productions, and I am giving you a first look at the Mirror's Edge Catalyst Plays Beta. It's a game I have been looking forward to playing, even in the beta, uh, for a long time now. I'm a massive fan of the original Mirror's Edge, which, for those of you who do not know, is a first person parkour free running sort of simulator. Someone's shouting on Oh, there we go. Who's this dude? I'm Icarus. You could be anyone. Okay. Well, you'll just have to trust me. Here, take this. I want to get off What's this? Is a boot link? Yeah. Put it on. We need to get you connected and calibrated. I know no one's eager to talk to you. Okay, so you play as Faith Connors. Uh, she is a runner. Uh, which is basically someone who plays a lot of parkour, jumping around the rooftops and um, I'm making oh, ridiculous leaps uh, from uh, building to building uh, and she is kind of this is a, well, it's a prequel slash reboot and um, from what I get from the story she's being sort of imprisoned from a young age uh, and you're just being freed on like a sort of parole to get a job and become a valuable member of society in the um, and you are going to tell it with you go. and sort of go and uh, return to your runner lifestyle uh, do not think they like me taking that uh, that off my wrist so here we go okay Let's give this a go. Let's see how we go on here. Get up there. 
Uh, for those of you who played Mirror's Edge before, which I have a, a lot, um, you'll probably be reasonably familiar with the controls. Um, left shoulder button is the basically the jump button. Oh, I know you hold that. There you go. Okay, that did not work. I slid off in one paper. There we go. Okay, uh, so in the first, uh, first game, it was, like I say, primarily a sort of first person parkour runner, um, but you could pick up guns from the, the uh, sort of security or the sort of police, and the, you know, the, the controls for the guns kind of slowed everything down, but didn't feel like the rest of the game. It kind of felt a bit disjointed. So I know that in this game they have totally got rid of the ability to pick up guns, which, in my opinion, being a big fan of this game or this uh, or the original game, I think is a good decision. Um, it's about pace, about building up momentum, and and using that to sort of take out uh, take out enemies where you can, or even just to sort of get past them and uh, escape. It's not a combat, it's not a shooter. If that's the kind of game you want, you should probably, you know, stick to stick to those big franchises. Um, I mean, the controls for this, uh, in terms of like your sort of free running park and stuff, are, you know, you sort of point at a wall, you can sort of free run it, you can walk it. And, the, you know, the original game was way back in, what, 2009? Um, and a lot of those sort of controls, you know, I, I sort of see that as the this game as the basis for those controls that came up in your Titanfalls, your uh, Advanced Warfares, uh, Black Ops 3 even, uh, and it was kind of the preeminent, it was the preeminent sort of version of that. It was like a cult classic, it wasn't, it didn't sell millions and millions of uh, copies. But uh, it was certainly a really high standard for the fans of it are pretty, pretty uh, dedicated to the game as a whole. Um, and I am one of those fans. This game kind of sort of features in one of my, my, uh, my sort of top 5 games of last gen, it's a 360 Xbox 360, uh, PS3. Um, generation of games. Control. We got Carpenter. There we go. Yeah, it looks like the combat's pretty straightforward. It's a sort of light attack, and I assume there'll be a heavy attack as well coming up. I asked nicely. Okay, we're back to this particular guy. Let's see what's going on. they know you came this way. Like I had a choice. Sure. We need to clear out. Better take a different route to the Everdyne Tower. We'll split up again, keep them confused. Can you make it across to those pipes? Of course. Yeah, it's probably Good. Cheeky little Your V-Link should be calibrated by now and your runner's vision working. Just follow the red and I'll meet you at the tower. Let's go. Getting across the pipes, this boy. Yeah, he's taking a piss of it. Okay. So, here we go. Let's activate free runner. No runner vision. What this holds? Uh oh. Okay, I'm into the first set of pipes. Uh, not so much the second. Uh, at least we don't get that um, rush of air and then the cracking of bones when you fall off the legs this time. Why is it not fucking running on the wall, you prick? I think my angle is uh, not quite hitting it right. Okay, third time lucky, as they say. And if I don't get it this time, then my controller will be getting thrown through the fucking thing. Okay, activate run a vision. Yeah, see, I'm hitting that first one as that bit an angle, so I suspect that. That's what I wasn't doing. Yes, that's what I wasn't doing the first time. 
Oh, so that was my bad. That was uh, a result. Unfortunately, all down to me. Oh, big jump. Too close. Okay, okay. That's a big jump. Uh, and uh, if you hear anything back there, that's fine. Noah, I sent her on a different route to the tower. K-Sec blocked the intersection. So, um, the original game had, uh, kind of linear, but, so, you know, it was an like open-ish world, and you could sort of choose various paths at times. Um, but there was a sort of big time trial, and, you know, it was tied into achievements and trophies. Uh, but there was time trials and the likes. So there was a challenge you to do as fast as you possibly could. Um, and it was kind of something I spent a lot of hours just uh, perfecting it down as good as it was as good. Now I. Uh, oh, there we go. Get up, get up, get up. Okay, I'm getting hand of this uh, landing the lobby. Making sure that you're sort of pressing your your left trigger to land as well, so you don't take a heavy, heavy line. Uh, yeah, so I, you know, it was something that I oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! I didn't realise I was coming on a pole there. I thought it was going to ball run. Faith has got strong ankles. Yeah, so I practiced this sort of time trials a lot. Oh my god, three star. Uh, and so I got not too bad at well, them. Uh, I got pretty gone. solid at them. Um, I got all the two achievements, which were the, the two hardest the DLC time trial ago. achievements. Well, I grew up so I see myself as a pretty you solid. You also got uh, caught and caused runner. a whole lot of trouble for Noah. Who's this boy getting up in our fucking grill? I know enough. Back off, Icarus. I'm faster and safer than you. Faith, are you at Orion yet? Um, I'm here. It's a bit crowded with new guy and his ego. Knock it off, both of you. Look, we are out uh, of If you heard a cat meow that was uh, Dexter, we're going to call me up here. It's a new guy who's out of battle. Right it's the first look. Icarus, upload the combat mod to face me like... All right, done. Okay, so what I'll do, uh, we're probably sitting about 13 minutes into this, uh, into this uh, first look, but I'll show us through the combat tuto tutorial and take it there, and that will probably be the end of my uh, my first look. Uh, this is something that when the full game comes out, I am hoping that we uh, can take this forward. Why is this pretty long? Okay, so I have to get them stumble over that body. And even better, of course, is if you knock them into one another. Two for one. What the fuck? Oh, no. no. Okay, so you have to be quite precise in some of these attacks. Uh, yeah, but like I said, about to say, uh, I was hoping that we can uh, probably do you know, either achievement guides or tutorials in some of these and sort of last place in this game when it comes out. Yeah, we go, I got that high attack. Fuck yeah. Get this guy in the crotch, let him go. Suck it, boy. Kick him right in the balls. That's right, Faith. Keep it up. There we go. I think I'm going down this way. That looks like a dead end that way, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, kicked his ass. Massive jump down on him. Uh, oh, continue. I need not to uh, retry that tutorial. I think I'm ready. Kiss that ass. 
Bring it. Security is the breach. Underneath. I'm inside. Yeah. Here goes. Come on, car. One more thing. Yeah. Uh, case Sector's talking about some special unit being sent in. It could be a new drone or something. Oh, run Careful, up the stairs, run up the stairs. The runner vision is uh, not quite as uh, lead you by the hand as it was in the original, which is probably a good thing. His ass with one high at a heart attack, heavy attack. What do you got? Hey, I got you covered. Control, we have an intruder. That's an affirmative control. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the other guy there and move because this game is all over the place. Oh shit, missed the jump. Came up on the wrong floor. Hopefully, a quick reload. Come on, back in the game. Back in the game. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay. I think that's where I uh, fought someone earlier. Security has been breached. Shield. Yeah, kick some ass. Go on there, go on there, by the time. Okay, this boy looks like a top son of a bitch. Yeah, come on. Up. I'm not gonna kick his ass. He looks, uh, he looks like one of the uh, tough enemies, heavy enemy. That's a negative control. No visual. She couldn't have survived that. Repeat. <laughs> no vitals. Then she's dead. Let the cleanup crew dig up the body. I got better things to do. Yeah, she took out all of them. Send an EMT too while you're at it. Okay, so I've uh, tricked that guy into thinking that I'm dead. Let's go back where I was going to go, which I assume yet. Which uh, is past him. Or where he was, anyway. Oh, okay, so I even just catching little bits like catching that edge. Uh, maintain your momentum. The feel of this game already. If you uh, if you enjoyed the first Mirror's Edge, I highly recommend it. If you want something that is not just a piss easy first person, you want different movements, uh, and you're kind of bored of that shooter, uh, you know, that dull sort of slow shooter mechanic, um, then I am already going to recommend this. Uh, the game looks damn good, feels and controls pretty well, and like I say, you know, it's kind of still holding that ethos of the first game within it. Uh, I am going to end this tutorial here, end this first look, and uh, just say thank you for watching. This is Dave uh, with Hyper Productions. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see more podcasts, let's plays, achievement guides, and more from us. Peace!